Okay, this is a YouTuber by the name of Dunamis333. I only know him because he left a very ignorant comment on one of my videos. Um, and I'll get into that in a minute. But the reason I'm doing this video is because a month ago he put out some videos saying that he believed that this rapture was going to occur November 11th, 2022. He has his whole little calculations and why he believes that. I'll bring that up in a minute. You know, just six days ago, he did another video about it. And I'm just wondering when this doesn't play out, because of course it's almost, it's almost midnight. It's almost going to be the 12th where I'm at. And yeah, there's no rapture. I haven't heard of anyone being taken up, anyone disappearing. He's not going to disappear. He's still going to be here doing his videos. Is like, what is he going to come up with? I, I can only assume he's going to say, oh, I miscalculated. Oh, we only prophesy in part, you know, because Paul gave all of his followers these lying excuses. You know, when the Most High said, if somebody proclaims to have spoken something and it doesn't happen, you know, with the Bible's perverted as don't fear them. No, if you translate that, do not sojourn, do not abide with them, come out from among them. They are fake. They are false. They are blind, the blind leading the blind. And he is following the blind. So of course he has been blinded himself. Okay. The only rapture these people are going to get that believe in Paul, or they're going to be raptured up and thrown into the lake of fire. Okay. Like literally hell is going to sweep away the refuge of lies, which is Paul's false gospel. But he, let me, you know, let's go to his channel. And then I'll get to one of his comments, some other things he commented on. I wanted to correct him. Okay. So this was a month ago, you know, but he's been doing his little countdown. He's like November 11th is the day of the Feast of Tabernacles. And he thinks because of this, this is the day that the Messiah, the Prince will come for us, his bride. Now he believes the father and the son are the exact same being. Okay. He believes the father manifested himself, which he didn't. He was the, the Messiah is the word of God. Okay. The word of God manifested in the flesh. Then he takes a few scriptures and perverts it. Like where it says, uh, I think he was talking to Philip. If you have seen me, or you have seen the father. Actually, if you go look up what that word really means, discern. Okay. Then he goes on to say that he, the father is in him. He doesn't say that he is the father. He says the father is in him. And the and they too can be in us. Does that mean if they're in us that we're going to be their same being? Come on, y'all. Get out get off the gas, Mr. Duna Miss 333. Okay, literally the Messiah said he can do nothing without the father. Everything he does it's because he's seen the father do it and he's he's doing likewise. He he can do nothing without the father. He's, he comes to uplift the father and the father uplifts him. He's not uplifting himself. Okay. He also says he loves the father and the father loves him. He's not saying he's in love with himself. Okay. He prays to the father. People often confuse this when it says that he was the word of God manifested in the flesh, not God, the word, the word, get that through your head, the word. That's why if you deny what he says, you're literally denying the father. Yes, the father is in him. That doesn't mean he is the father. Okay, we too, it says if, if we keep the commandments, then they will make their home with us and they will be in us. <sighs> Okay. Anyway, so, and then he told me I need to just shut up. Women have no business, you know, helping the kingdom of heaven at all, preaching the, the true gospel, which is a total lie from the pits of hell. Now, Pauline is the one that said that these Pauline followers believe that. And even Paul contradicts his own doctrine like he does time after time, because what did he tell you? He said, I just taught whatever a person wanted to hear. It became all things to all people, so I might win some. Yes. And what did the Messiah say? 
He said he traveled land and sea to win one single convert and make them twice the child of hell as himself. And that's exactly what these Pauliners are getting themselves into when they make void what the Most High said. Okay, the Most High has had several women prophetess. Women. What is a prophetess? Go look in your dictionary. It is a divine, inspirational, what they call teacher. I would rather call it preacher because we only have one teacher and that is the Messiah. He is giving us the word of God sent from the Father. Okay. He showed us the way. His life represents the way. We are to follow him. He kept the law. We must keep the law. Another thing Mr. Dudamis totally missed is fornication. Fornication, every, they distorted this. So I know why people think it. It's not sexual immorality. Yes, that is part of sinning. That is part of something that happens because of your idolatry. But fornication is idolatry. It is putting somebody before the word of god god is the word if you put anyone's word above that word now you are in idolatry it can be statues it can be a person it can be your preacher it can be your best friend it can be your wife it can be your child anybody you put before the word of god before god almighty is idolatry and when people don't obey god then they are literally yoked to devils this is why they can never stop sinning the only way we can stop sinning is with god all things are possible with god those that proclaim to have seen him that continue to sin like paul okay yes he continued to sin he even tells you this in romans he just started blaming his flesh for it he's like oh it's no longer me but it's my flesh Okay, that's considered sin. He was a psychopath, a serial killer. He was the Antichrist. He was the one that went out with John. Okay, he went out with John back then in that day. And then he left so it would be made known that all of them were the Antichrist. Who's all of them? Acts 19, 8 through 9. Paul and Paul's followers, because a true disciple of of Yahshua does not have two masters. You can only be discipled under one teacher. There is only one teacher, Matthew 13, 8 through 10. That is Yahshua. That is the Messiah. And he is only giving us the words from the Father. He did not come in his own testimony. He did not come in his own word. He was the word of God manifested in the flesh, but he did not come in his own word because he was not the same being as his father and if you knew the messiah which you don't do to miss then you would know the son you don't need i mean the father you don't need to know the father or the son that's why you're denying them both when you say they're identical you're literally denying both the father and the son anyways i'm not going to keep rambling of course your rapture didn't happen today if you're raptured, it will be, you're going to be bundled up and thrown into the lake of fire. That's the rapture you're looking forward to because you are going off a false doctrine. You need to repent, return to the word of God, but I'm out.